Today is a beautiful day for science. Currently we're looking at region 3697, which expelled an X.103 solar flare uh, near the tail end of the 1st of June, 2024. The solar flare itself was the, the beginning of the event as it was elongated by the disruption of loops more towards the tail end of that region where they had grown more dense. That elongation event caused a longer duration of the R2 into R1 blackout. Uh, radio blackout, but also increased the amount of emission for the ICME, so there is a solar storm associated, and that is projected to impact Earth. As the solar storm is traveling uh, relatively quickly, uh, we're going to take a look at that in Soho, just here in a minute. Waiting on imagery of our SDO here, you can see some of that plasma movement there as the initial X cl uh, class flares on the leading edge and then on that tail end it starts to pick up as it disrupts those uh, coronal loops at that back end. Beautiful event. Alright, and we'll take a quick look at SOHO where we can see the emission. We have a full halo which means the circumference the entire imagery and we can see here that is indeed projected to impact Earth and get a wider scope view C3 And calculating that, it looks approximately 48 hours, plus or minus 6 hours. So we're looking at around near the end to uh, the end of 3rd of June, 2024 UTC, or the beginning of the 4th. With all that said, we do have an ICME heading our way, a solar storm. I wouldn't expect any more than maybe peaking at a G3 storm, likely to be a G2 and lower, more so than a higher impact of a geomagnetic storm. I'm expecting a longer duration as the prolonged event did have a couple of points of emission of plasma. And uh, being in close proximity of time, they relatively gelled together from what it looks like from the imagery. So we're going to just get an elongated solar storm in general. So expect probably a, a G2, maybe a G3, but a longer duration storm. And uh, that's it. So cheers and uh, science on. <laughs>